Konami, what the fuck is this? Alright, so guys, I kinda lied, I think it was yesterday, when I said that Flunderese would become the next tier 1 deck. I was not even close to being right, actually. As a matter of fact, this is by far the best tier 0 deck I have ever seen in my entire life. And you're going to see why this is absolute bullshit. In my life, I've seen a lot of tier 0 decks that were really good, but at least they were kind of inherently stoppable. At least you could hand shop the deck and say, okay, yeah, you can't really do anything now. Like the Spiral deck when it was tier 0. You just had Valor, Ghost Bell, Ghost Ogre, Ash on the double helix. That was pretty much it the majority of the time. That's why the deck, even though it was extremely powerful, it was really fragile. However, this bullshit deck can play literally every Floodgate ever printed in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like Necro Valley, Lose One Turn, Dimension Shifter, Macrocosmos, Dimensional Fissure, the list goes on, lose one turn, it is not affected by anything, it is not affected by Vanity's Emptiness, it can search the Windbearer statue, it can search Dark Simorg, it can Dark Simorg plus anti-spell your opponent, it can use Harpy's Feather Storm against your opponent, it doesn't lose to back removal, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it is safe to say that this is oh, hands down one of the most ridiculous decks I have ever seen in my entire life, if not by far, I want to say the best I have ever seen. And with one single card, you can not only allow uh, yourself to make a lot of interruptions, but on top of that, having a ridiculous follow-up and a huge snowballing game going on. So let's jump right into it. But before we start, friendly reminder, of course, please to smash the like and subscribe button because that's the best way to motivate my ch me and my channel. And actually, if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll make the deck profile ASAP so we are definitely trying to hit a thousand likes I know it is definitely possible I've done it in the past and it was all thanks to you guys so yeah that and the subscribe button really helps me out a lot and now let's jump right into it so one card combo would be Robina or whatever Rabina. it's a it's a really good card obviously the thing is you can't really play extender cards like one for one stuff like that so even though it would almost make sense you cannot play any special summon card so there are a lot of really cool ways to synergize with this deck it's just that special summoning is just not one of them just to clarify this before people get kind of tricked up but yeah anyways you're going to be searching for that eaglin which is the second good starter that this deck has it's just not as good as rabina because rabina gives you access to your other cards that search such as eaglin and then you can search another card like uh, ampen which is exactly this card and this is probably the best out of the two Flunderies that we currently have because it gets you a spell or trap on the tribute summon and also it uh, it has the effect to inherently additional give you uh, another normal summon which is something that the other card the snowland or whatever doesn't unfortunately do so now you're getting one search and two recycle back from the banished which is bs so with one card we're already at plus three <laughs> and then we're setting one card but don't worry because we're not just making one interruption no 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 so we're chaining the trap whenever our opponent does something as you can see my opponent is playing eldlich now is eldlich a good matchup for this eldlich has a zero percent chance of winning against this Flunderese deck and the reason for that is because exactly just like I said at the very beginning of the video this deck can search out Dark Simorg during your opponent's turn and as a matter of fact that's exactly what we're gonna do right now and yeah, we're just gonna search uh, the uh, ostrich, I guess you can say. Banish the opponent's Eldritch, the Golden Lord, even though it really doesn't matter at this point. We could just let the Eldritch in the grave because our opponent literally cannot even do anything and not even can. He can't even try to special summon it back because he won't have the ability to set a card. So now we're just going to, of course, get the normal summon for the Eaglin. Tribute summon for Dark Simorg. Obviously, get back two recycles because that's fair. <laughs> that's really fair card design. Our opponent cannot set any card cards on the field any cards on the field that's really stupid <laughs> against the trap deck this is already an ftk your opponent can't just say oh whatever you have a bunch of traps but torrential strike or punishment plus strike needle ceiling plus strike that's usually a good board not against this deck because you can't even set your cards to begin with <laughs> so how the heck is there is this supposed to be fair uh, well, mm, fun fact, uh, it is it is just not fair. It is not fair at all, and this is the reason why I said this 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 was the best tier one deck, uh, tier zero deck ever, because one single card does all of that. And uh, by the way, by the way, I forgot to mention, 
And then this trap card right there actually has an effect in the graveyard. Whenever you tribute 7 level 7 or higher monster while this is in your grave, you can banish it. And Book of Eclipse, every monster your opponent controls. It doesn't target and it doesn't destroy, it just flips them face down. And it's not like your opponent would draw cards or anything, so he can't ash this. He can't do anything. This deck chain blocks like there is no tomorrow. But again, this was just combo number one. You will be mind blown with combo number two and three. Let's jump right into it. How does this deck fare against, you know, the, the best deck in the game, Dragon Link? Well, it's it's a joke. Dragon Link can't do anything at all. <laughs> Outlitch, Dragon Link, you name it. Those decks suck. I mean, who who would even try to consider playing other decks than Fl decks other than Flunderies? Now this is now that this is going to be a thing. Absolutely nobody. So our opponent can go normal seven uh, Saferd, which is technically a card that would get over the Windbearer statue. So it might seem unappealing for me to go for the Windbearer statue, right? Absolutely not. And you're going to see why right now. So we're going to search it and we're just going to summon it. So her opponent at this point literally cannot do anything at all. Like, literally. And uh, it's uh, far from being done though because now whenever her opponent tries to go into battle phase or literally anything, I can just go chain the the Flunderies City of Dreams and then normal summon the Eaglin that I already had anyways. Search for Dark Simorg or honestly pretty much anything at this point. It really doesn't matter. The main goal of this is just to tribute summon a level 7 or higher to, to banish that trap card from the grave and exactly just like I said Book of Eclipse my opponent's board so now he cannot special summon and the only normal summon w which would have been the out to the Windbearer statue is now Book of Moon and you can't really say oh yeah but he can set some back row because Dark Simorg oh and by the way did I forget to mention that Empen actually had a skill drain effect because obviously everything that I've showcased up until now it wasn't enough I mean it wasn't convincing enough right I mean Empen as long as its tribute summoned on the field, your opponent's special summoned monsters in attack position simply cannot activate their effects. So Appaloosa for 20 billion, pfft, <laughs> no. Needle Fiber, no. Oradon, no. Literally not a single Link monster can ever activate their effects. Never, ever, ever. Yeah, shout out to Justin Bieber. But yeah, anyways, let's get into combo number three. Okay, so at the very beginning of the video, I said that this deck can play Dimension Shifter. Do you remember that? Every Floodgate ever printed in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, like Necro Valley, Lose One Turn, Dimension Shifter, Macrocosmos, well, what happens when you draw Dimension Shifter a bit too late? Is it still playable? Absolutely, and you're going to see why soon enough. And again, we're playing against the buy, Drytron. <laughs> the, the Drytron is a tier 1 deck, really? I thought it was like tier 20. Uh, imagine comparing another deck to Flunderies. Like, it's just, it's, like, come at me, bro. And now we have a, like, a card in the graveyard, but we just drew into Dimension Shifter. And Dimension Shifter can only be used if you have no cards in your grave. But don't worry, because, you know, this deck is broken. It already has all the inherent options. You don't even have to play any bricks. You can still use Dimension Shifter even though you used Extravagance before. Again, another thing that I wanted to showcase was that you don't necessarily have to draw Rabina every single time if you want to combo off. You can just draw the field spell in any level 1 and it's still combo because this deck is broken. So, <laughs> so uh, now we're going to search for the Empen and then go with Rabina, search for the Ostrich. That's actually pretty interesting. So now we're going to be able to normal summon it and banish our own Extravagance. That's so sick. And this is the reason why you can't really play Terraforming. Just draw, just play two Mysterious Map or maybe even three, but don't play Terraforming. It makes you lose to Drill and Logbird for no reason. It's just not really good, and then you have a card in your grave, and you can't really get rid of it. But Extravagance, it's just, it's flawless, man. And you have to use it beforehand anyways, so if you draw into D-Shifter off Extravagance, as long as you do the play that I just showed you, you'll be fine. Anyways, now we, that we've banished our card, we can immediately tribute summon for the end pen, go chain link 1, chain link 2, chain link 3. Uh, do not tribute over the Rabina, and the reason why this would be a misplay is because we already used its banished effect to recycle it back from the banished to the hand when a mo wing beast monster is summoned. It would be kind of a neg to tribute over it and then not recycle it, so we're just trying to tribute over the two monsters that actually are tributed over and uh, yeah just hover the extra deck and you see uh, freaking Zod Zodiac Tigress whatever don't worry the, the deck profile will be there tomorrow but anyways a chilling one chilling two chilling three a chilling for the dimension shifter now you might be like why would I use dimension shifter on my own turn the reason for that is because my opponent can have gamma if he top decks it otherwise he would have been you, you know he, he would have used gamma beforehand anyway so it doesn't really matter but most importantly he can top deck or have called by the 
grave. And if I use the Dimension Shifter on his turn, it's bad because now I can get called by the grave, whereas if I use it on my own turn, I have a 0% chance of getting hit by called by the grave, so it's all good in the hood. So yeah, now I'm using it on my own turn, doesn't matter because I want my cards to be banished. It's like kind of Ritual Beast where being under Dimension Shifter is actually advantages, it's actually good for you, which is stupid. So now you can search for Empin and then <laughs> Tribute Summon, Chilling 1, Chilling 2, Chilling 3. Again, fair Yu-Gi-Oh card design, stop complaining. We started with two cards and look at this, L look at this. We're summoning the Windbearer statue, our opponent cannot play. The the what is this, Mandritron? Come at me. You're, you're trying to go normal summon Diviner of the Herald's effect? Well, yeah, your card gets banished, by the way, so uh, a nice Herald of Arclight search, nice uh, Entis pop. Nothing at all, literally nothing. Drytron has a 0% chance of beating this deck again. <laughs> and Eldritch cannot. Be because I just showed you, because of Dark Simorg, and Dragon Link is a buy. So that's pretty much it for this beautiful Flunderies combo video. Again, the deck profile will be there, but I really want you guys to smash the living pancake out of this like and subscribe button. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.